everyone, Dave K here with the first manned launch in nine years on US soil. So excited to see this SpaceX rocket launch here today. Let's do it. Give you a little bit more context on the launch here today. First of all, I feel very fortunate that the launch was postponed. It was supposed to be earlier on in this week, but it was postponed due to weather. And I feel again, so fortunate because today is now a weekend. It's a Saturday and I get the chance to see a launch on a Saturday, whereas it was supposed to be during a weekday. I wouldn't have been able to take off the time from work to be able to see it. So, so, so excited that I can come check out the launch here today. Again, nine years since they've done a manned launch. So excited to hear how this one goes. I'm no expert on the rockets, but my understanding is they're using the Falcon 9 as the rocket, maybe the Dragon as the man part with two crew members who've been to space before. But again, the industry is kind of changing where it used to be more of a government thing. The government shut down that program where they're doing man launches to space. Now it's moving towards the private industry and SpaceX is kind of ahead as the leader in this space. So they're gonna try their first man launch nine years on US soil here today. Let's check this one out, so excited for it. Mike, how do you feel for the launch today? Are you excited for it? Very excited. This is my first launch ever. You know, living in Florida, that's one of the benefits. You get to go out to these launches. The, the other day was canceled. We get to go and experience it firsthand, actually be there and, and feel. I hope we can actually feel the ground shake just a little bit. So very, very excited about this and future launches as well. Yes, it's like your real life mission space right here. Yes, yes. You think this is the mission green or mission orange? Uh, for them, I'd call it mission orange. That's that's very intense. For us, it'll stay mission green because we're like watching. Right, right, right. Maybe red for them. Uh, you know, red, red sounds like danger. Orange is like the intense. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, there you go. And as we're on the way here, you can see a beautiful empty road in front of us. Not necessarily empty, but there's quietish road. We've got the directions right here. How long we'll be there is about 45 minutes, hopefully before the launch, so that'll be nice. And listening in to some of that talk about the launch, some of the history and learning more about this historic event. So excited to share this one, to experience it here today. Let's see what it's all about. You can see just past Mike here, the Camping World Stadium. Looks very cool to see some of the natural components, some of the natural stadiums and other activities we've built in to this Orlando area. Looks like more of Orlando ahead of us here. It's a ways to go, but always nice to see that city view, all of what the community and activities in the area might have to offer. Again, I love to kind of see new places, check out new things. So I'm glad we're seeing it on the road here today. And a weather update as we're making our way about two hours out, maybe closer to an hour and a half out. And they're saying right now it is not clear to launch based on the weather. So definitely worrisome. Hopefully it'll be clear. And they're saying it should be a clear window by the time we get there, but I'm definitely worried about it. Again, they've had to cancel just a few days ago for similar reasons. So I'm hoping that it's clear today and it doesn't get pushed to a different weekday, but we'll find out soon enough. Plenty of trees out here on our journey. Very, seems like unpopulated area with lots of just nature hanging out. But it's nice to see all that kind of natural green and grassy stuff as we make our way. The SM corridor, that's the weather along the Atlantic seaboard in case Dragon had to abort on the way to space. We are aiming for a launch at 3.22.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time. 19 hours, 22 minutes, 45 seconds universal time. Once we begin loading propellant, there's no opportunity to change T0. So once propellant is loading, we're committed and we'll get one chance at it today. But currently at T-minus one hour, 10 minutes and 30 seconds, everything except the weather is go for launch. So we've got our update about an hour to an hour and a half before launch. The weather is still problematic and hopefully it'll clear up here in the next hour. But otherwise, everything else is good for launch. So fingers crossed that it works out here for us today as we're making our way again, just kind of enjoying this nature, seeing some of this construction and trees out there in the wilderness. So it sounds like we are go for launch an hour in advance of the launch. That's awesome. Sounds like the weather conditions may be okay at this point. It is still raining a bit, you can see here around us, but it sounds like it's good enough so that they'll be able to launch, which is awesome. So looking forward to seeing how that goes here today. Obviously could still get worse, but nice to hear that it's cleared up a bit. So we're making our way now on the last leg of traffic here until we get to our viewing location. And it sounds like we are go for everything in terms of launch, in terms of weather, and all of the other components that tie in. They've retracted the crew arm and they should be good to begin fueling here shortly. So nice to hear 
that we've made it to that point. You can see these beautiful views by this bridge here in front of us, kind of out in the real world as we're waiting for this launch to begin. Another 45 minutes or so until that launch. So nice, exciting. We've got time right around when we made it here. We've got a good amount of time to find ourselves a spot. And you can see again, right on the water with some beautiful views. Excited to check it out here today, see what it's all about. Here's more of these water views all around us again. You can see kind of this island that we're heading towards. I don't think I've been out here before, but natural bodies of water and kind of connected to this island, I think where Canaveral is or Cape Canaveral. I'm not 100% sure what that's called, but surrounded by bodies of water. Let's check it out. You can see a variety of views out here on our left as well. A lot of people have parked, a lot of boats parked to see the rocket launch coming up here on our left. Very exciting. Looking forward to finding our own spot here and seeing if things go through here today. With 25 minutes to launch, we made it here. We're going to see if we can get a great view and looking forward to seeing what this looks like. I'm worried it might be a little bit far away, but still excited to check it out. And we're here at the waterfront now. Hopefully we'll find a great view. It can be quite crowded here around us, but again, excited to see the launch here today. So this might be the best view we're going to get here, unfortunately, but you can see it back there in the distance, kind of behind that green sign over there. We'll see what things look like in terms of the launch. If we can get any closer, only about 20 minutes left to go until we're on our way. And one more spot option here. Again, I'm not really sure where that tower is. I thought it was back there, but I think that's actually just a uh, an electrical cable pole. So kind of looking out of the water, try to figure out where exactly we'll be looking, but we'll see what happens. So I do think this is our final spot here for the launch. Looking off into the distance, somewhere around there, we should see a rocket coming up. And maybe I can catch some good footage here on my phone or something. We'll see what it looks like. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my God, I'll leave it over here. Glad we had the chance to check it out here today. The rocket did come a little bit further to the left than we were expecting, so we didn't see that initial launch process, but did see that kind of little red tail, that fire tail going through the sky, and then that smoke cloud left behind by the rocket. Very cool to see. All the processes we were able to see, at least, went perfectly smoothly. So glad we had a chance to come out here and experience this once in a rare time event, once in a nine year event. Again, really glad we had the chance to check out this one here today. It was a lot of anticipation, a lot of buildup for that short moment, but it's a short moment in history. We get to see those astronauts take off here from US soil, first time in nine years. Again, really glad we had a chance to come check it out and experience it. Mike, what did you think of the launch here today? It was good, I really enjoyed it. The, the most important part was just the historic piece. Like we can always say, we were here at the very beginning of that commercialized space travel. SpaceX first launch with human beings and the first launch in 11 years with human be or uh, is it nine years? Nine years, with, 11 with human beings on board from the United States, you know, that was you know, US soil. That was just, it's one of those moments you'll never forget. It's like, yes, we, I would have loved to actually be sitting at the Kennedy Space Center, but those tickets were hard to get. So we were here, we could be a part of it, we heard it, it was something special. Yeah, and I'm right there with you. Really glad we had a chance to come out here and experience this one. Glad we were close range to be able to actually see that tail of fire coming up from the sky. And in the future, I'll have to make sure I bring a better camera so I can really capture those close-up images. And someday I'd love to be able to catch some from the Space Center, but glad we were able to experience at least in the ballpark here today. And we saw those boats going in. Here come those boaters heading out from seeing the rocket launch. Cool way to see it for sure. If you have a boat, roll out there on your boat. And we can also enjoy the view of the boats rolling by as we make our way out of the area. 
And that concludes today's adventure. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures, whether it be space travel or theme parks or more. Looking forward to sharing so much more with you. And until next time, play on. And while we're on the road here, we are listening in to hear some more information about the launch, that sort of thing. And so it sounds like SpaceX Dragon in six decimal four, Bob and I are go for launch. Copy, go for launch, and next up will be go to GoPo at T minus 45. Dragon copy. So it sounds like we are go. And that concludes today's adventure.